manager of Directions Home Loan at Lock and Terra here in San Antonio, host of Key Factors Podcast, and co-founder of ReviewMyMortgage.com, the largest index of mortgage programs nationally. And this is your daily millennial mortgage update. So let's jump right into our daily interest rate for the day. Um, and I wanted you guys to uh, know very clearly that as you can see here, this is from January 31st as far as rates go. Um, and it's important for you uh, to know that for a couple of reasons. Number one, um, it's important to know when the rate was actually published, but uh, also furthermore, these are not the actual published rates. Um, as I mentioned before, this is a uh, collaboration and average of the national offering um, throughout the United States. And it also is honed down into the actual state that you're visiting. So I'm quoting rates from Texas with 5% down uh, based off of this Google tool and it is showing rates to be at 4.397% at an average credit score, which the average credit score for Texas is 676. Um, so we will utilize that and just know that your credit score uh, does affect your interest rate, as you can see here, going from a 780 um, at a 3.79 all the way to a 676, uh, raises the actual interest rate to 4.397. Um, so why is that important for you guys to understand that rates are rising? Um, truly, the first thing that comes to mind for me is your money buys you less. Um, but in this case scenario, we've got actually two things that are working against you as a consumer. You've got rates that are going up and you've also got home prices that are going up. So when that happens, you're being priced out of the market pretty quickly. Um, and uh, to give you a simplistic approach to that, your money is not going to buy you the same amount of home tomorrow as it did today. So uh, if you're on the fence about uh, purchasing and moving forward, get off the fence. Uh, what more data do you need? I don't believe that they're going to be going the other direction anytime soon. So that being said, let's dive into our article of the day. And before I do so, a little caveat to this, I am bringing you guys an article uh, similar to a topic that I had discussed a couple of days ago, which is appraisals. Um, super important that we stay up to date with what's going on in our market with the appraisals, um, in addition to how they're being applied on the mortgage side of things. Um, so we'll start with this article that was uh, brought to us in American Banker. And this article is entitled Fannie Mae Freddie Mac to add desktop appraisals to systems in March. And this is by Bonnie Sinek. And it reads, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have announced the dates when they'll follow up on their regulators promise to make one of the appraisal flexibilities introduced aimed the pandemic a permanent part of their operations. The two major government related mortgage investors will add desktop appraisal messaging to their automated underwriting system in March. Freddie Systems feedback will indicate whether or not the desktop appraisal can be submitted starting on March 6th. Fannie plans to roll them out as a part of an update to the AUS during the weekend of March 19th. AUS acceptance of desktop appraisals at both government-sponsored enterprises will be subject to the restrictions based on the loan-to-value ratios of the mortgage involved. Fannie Mae otherwise allows them on single unit purchase loans with complete subject property address if it meets other typical eligibility criteria. Several types of collateral will be ineligible, including second homes, condominiums, cooperatives, manufactured housing, and properties that either are being used for investment or have resale restrictions. Uh, some mortgage products will be ineligible, including loans for community lending like home ready and finance used for energy related improvements or other types of renovations. Appraisers have had mixed feelings about the broader use of automation out of concern. Some form could possibly result in less accurate valuations. Some of the flexibilities provided during COVID like desktop appraisals have a longer term merit for instance, typical properties where reliable multi-listing services data is available, said Jody Bishop, the 2022 president of the Appraisal Institute, in an email statement. The GSE announced related to desktop appraisals will help provide new parameters for their use and form the appraisal perspective. The scope of work likely will not change, Bishop said. 
However, fewer appraisal alternatives have been used in the purchase market, so it could take a while for stakeholders to get used to the desktop appraisal, more programmatic use there. Um, it's likely to take time for lenders and appraisers to adopt desktop in full, said Bishop, noting that the Institute has been offering training related to this topic. All right, so um, that being said, guys, why do I bring that article to you? Well, here's my two cents. I believe that this is a wonderful thing, and I think in each one of these thus far, I've provided a little bit of uh, evidence of how our industry is changing and evolving uh, to a more faster pace world um, that uh, we're currently living in. Um, this was obviously brought on amidst the pandemic, um, and it was typically used for the purposes of uh, refinances to alleviate the need for actual human appraisals to go out there. So essentially when the appraisal or property that you're appraising was already in their system being sold recently, they had the data that had been compiled to give them a good idea that if you had a certain amount of equity and typically at least 20%, um, it gave that borrower the option to waive that uh, appraisal. Um, and as mentioned in the article, we saw fewer of those in regards to the purchase side of things. Um, I did have one that uh, a customer put 50% uh, down on the property um, and did receive an appraisal waiver. Um, as mentioned, they're seeing that this data is not going to waver too, too far from what an actual appraiser would uh, deem the property value. But of course, there's always going to be that fear or that threat of um, pricing manipulation, um, also getting into something that uh, truly is not the most 100% accurate because it doesn't have the human hand in it. Um, and I think similar to, let's say, online banking, um, all of these money messaging mobile apps, uh, at first we're a little skeptical about it, and then as it progresses, it becomes the new norm. Um, and as we've noticed the last two years, guys, the new norm changes very rapidly um, when it has to. Um, so us mortgage professionals in the industry uh, are loving this, realtors are loving this, and as mentioned, this was rolled out, um, kind of fast-tracked due to the pandemic, and it has been decided by Franny and Freddie that it's going to remain. Um, the announcement or implementation of this uh, is going to be in the mid-March time frame. Um, so if you have uh, loan officers out there that uh, you're hearing talking about, we can waive appraisal, this and that, um, keep in mind they're just using talking points because they'd be able to tell you that there are some loan programs that will not qualify. Um, they have to maintain a certain amount of equity when they're putting uh, their down payment in addition to receiving an automated approval through the AUS uh, or automated underwriting system uh, based on the subject property and the debt to income of the borrower as well as the um, loan to value. So that being said, guys, just giving you a little bit of the um, insight to what we are going through on our side of the lending world. There's not going to be more appraisers coming to the market anytime soon, so they're finding uh, alternatives that are a comparable fit for what we need in our market today for you guys as consumers, for the realtors um, taking care of your clients and us lenders for uh, staying sane. Um, so take that for what it is. Um, hopefully you can utilize that in your next transaction or as you're out there seeking and searching properties um, or when you get into the actual purchase process and it's time to make a decision when your lender goes to you and says, hey, would you like to waive the appraisal since you're putting down X amount? Some people may say, no, I don't want to. And some may say, yeah, let's do it. Let's get this thing done as fast as possible. Um, one thing that I've also noticed is uh, obviously time is of the essence, but setting expectations is a bigger piece to that. Um, I believe that we believe borrowers and sellers have to move as quickly as possible, but everybody has lives. I believe that if we set the right expectations, um, everybody will be on the same page and experience a, a great transaction. So if you are moving to Texas or currently a Texas resident uh, looking for your purchase options, um, visit us at LockAndTerraLoans.com 
um, and one of our trusted loan officers is uh, ready to help provide your options. Uh, we'll jump on a Zoom call, we will share screen with you, go over how interest rates work, um, and provide you with the highest level of customer service. So that is again, LaCanteraLoans.com. And that was your daily millennial mortgage update. And I am Mark Jones, your millennial mortgage expert, and you guys make today count.